Hello, this isn't necessarily a circuit guide, it's more of a how to practice, how to get the consistency you need to be able to get around the track again and again and again and again without putting it into Belle Isle's lovely little walls that they've got all over the track so close to the circuit. This can help anyone from very beginner, especially the very beginners, to intermediate to advanced. It's These techniques will help you improve your consistency and your racecraft in general. And once you get this technique down, the speed will come. It will come much quicker than it when you're practicing, if you're crashing into the wall every other lap, or if you're spinning it out, or if you just can't get to grips with the car. This will help you develop a broad range of technique that will then naturally bring speed. First thing you need to know is the LED lights on the left of the wheel when the bottom light is green that means your brakes are cold when the top light is green and it's the only light lit it means your brakes are coming up to temperature but they're not quite there they're near the optimal but they're not quite there and when they're all lit up blue white that means your brakes are good so check your tire temps before qualifying and then you know you're good to go so if you can get all those lights lit up, or at least the top one lit up, before you start your qualifying lap, you'll be good to go. Now onto the practice for this track. Just take it nice and easy. Don't worry about being fast. Worry about being good. Just get into the groove of the track. Take it slow. Don't rush it. Imagine if this was your first time ever driving this car in real life. That's how you should be approaching practice, especially if it's a track you're not sure about, one you have no confidence in, or a car you've never driven before. But even if you've done all those things, even if you've got confidence in the car, still, this technique will help you to improve, to find those extra tents. Because the whole idea is to get comfortable with the circuit, get comfortable with how it feels, to get around without spinning it. Just nice and easy, just lift off. Just follow the line. Don't worry about being fast. Forget about being fast. Be the best. And the speed will come. Just lift off before the braking zone, then just brake gently. Bring the car into the apex and go. Get as close to the wall as you can. Use your peripheral vision to look for the walls. Trust your body and your arms, because your arms will steer the car where your eyes look, where your eyes focus on. Your peripheral vision is used to look for the walls. These techniques will especially help those who aren't 100% confident in the car. Maybe the more advanced drivers are more, or doing something more or less this, or doing a technique that works for them. But this really helped me to hone my racecraft and to get better. Just nice and easy, lift off. Just let the car steer you. You just look where you want the car to go and your arms will do the job. Just take it nice and easy. This may sound pointless. It may sound like it's not worth your time, but trust me, it works. And when you get back up to speed eventually, because you're going to take your time to get there, you will find you're at least a few tenths faster. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Even if you don't have a lot of time to practice, practicing like this, practicing well, will benefit you more than trying to drive on the limit, trying to push yourself to be faster and faster and faster and plateauing and reaching point. This will break you through your plateau, trust me. Just taking your time will get you faster. I'm going to pick up the pace a bit now so I can demonstrate more or less the rhythm. So I still lifted off early, I still broke early. But I'm, I'm just taking it easy. I'm at a point where I can drive like this forever. Providing the bumps don't knock my arms off. 
at this pace, I could go around and around and around and around and around and around and around, round, round, forever and ever. With no worrying, no stress, no mistakes, no spinning, no crushing, no kissing the walls. As I kiss the wall. <laughs> But this is all, this drill, this technique is all about building up your confidence in the car, building that muscle memory to be able to go to the walls without even thinking about it and not panicking and not needing to check if you're near the wall because your peripheral vision will get you there. And then just follow the groove and then ever so slightly, slowly but surely, just pick up the pace a little bit. So lift off, nice and easy, brake. Just take it easy. Trust me, this works. Just get used to the feel of the track, get used to the car, and enjoy it. You will get faster. You will get faster than you were. Try it. Try it. Test me. Put me to the test. Do a lap pushing. As hard as you possibly can. And then really take your time. Slow yourself down. Get some good, solid, consistent practice in by going slower. And show me that you don't get faster. Obviously, the more confident you are in the car, the less you will improve, but you will improve. It's a guarantee. You know that old saying, practice makes perfect. Well, Bruce Lee didn't like that. He said, perfect practice makes perfect. I'm not saying this is perfect practice, but it certainly helps. Just focus on getting to the walls. Use your peripheral vision. I'm saying all these things again, but it's important to remember. Look at the apex and looking at the exit now and going They're looking for the apex next apex and already I'm looking at the last one the last one this one and now I'm at the exit and I'm going I'll do one lap explaining where my vision is okay I'm looking for the apex now I'm at the exit and now I'm going apex now I'm at the exit I'll slow down a bit so I can explain it better because it's tricky to do speed right I'm looking for the apex looking for the apex now I'm looking for the exit I've already turned in, now I'm looking for the exit now. And now already, I'm looking for the apex of the next turn. I'm looking for the apex, I'm braking. Now I'm looking for the exit. Looking for the apex, now I'm looking for the exit. Just before, as soon as you start to turn in, your eyes should always be looking ahead to the next, next thing and just let your body sort it all out for you because you know what it will especially if you put the time in and gone slow so that the muscle memory will kick in because if you don't have that muscle memory it won't happen I'm looking at the exit now okay I'm looking for the apex now I'm looking for the exit always looking ahead I'm not focusing on brake markers or turning in points. My peripheral vision is doing all of that. My focused vision is always looking ahead and I let the side of my eye worry about everything else. So a good pace to have to work towards is about this. Dependent on your ability but when I'm looking to improve, when I'm looking to find an extra couple of tenths, this is the pace that I would do. I'm not exactly pushing, but I'm not going too slow either. 
because I found that rhythm. I found what my average pace is. And I can do this pace again and again and again. Working on corners as I go through. Where can I find more speed? Where can I take more minimum speed? Where can I break later? Where can I break earlier but lighter? It's nice and easy. If you're panicking, or if you're nervous, or unsure whether you're going to make it around the corner and you're really hyper-focused, you're going too fast. To use this technique, slow down to the point where it's easy. It shouldn't be an effort. You shouldn't be trying. If you have to try or focus too much or sweat, you're going too fast for this technique to work effectively. It's nice and easy. Feeling the car slide. Feeling it skip over the road. It's all about learning what the car feels like. To the point where you get so used to driving the car, you get so used to driving the track and the circuit, that your average pace will be qualifying pace. That, that where you're comfortable, you want to get to the point where, where your comfortable pace is qualifying pace. So then during the race, you can tone it back. And so that your average race pace is still fast, but it's comfortable. So that when it comes, comes time to push, you're not pushing. You're not trying to go faster. You just go faster because that's where your pace is at. That's what you want to aim for. You want to get to the point where you don't need to push. Because pushing is just where your ability is. That's your goal. And the only way you're going to get there effectively and quickly is by slowing down and becoming comfortable enough to drive fast. Becoming comfortable at the limits.